So the Deep Green project is financed by by the French government. It's a a, a big project with twenty uh, uh, partners uh, from industry and uh, academical actors, and uh, the objective is uh, thinking about uh, embedded machine learning. And uh, one of the challenges is thinking about the certification process of uh, machine learning based components. So uh, uh, in collaboration with CS Group, uh, we, we are um, trying to um, use, um, to apply uh, these uh, reflections in uh, aeronautical use cases. So the project is for a duration of four years, and we are uh, just in the first year. And the objective is to share with you our first or preliminary results, uh, preliminary thoughts about uh, this challenging problem. Uh, uh, OK. So uh, as you know, uh, deep learning and Neuro, deep neural networks um, since uh, in the last 10 years uh, provoked a, a, a technological revolution. Uh, in the last 10 years, we have uh, a lot of impressive re results on diverse applications. It looks like magic. Uh, and the aer aeronautical industry uh, is hungry uh, to be able to use this new technology in uh, in these components, in this uh, aircraft. Uh, the problem, or it's not a problem, but the, the difficulty is that uh, uh, software embedded in, uh, in an aircraft, and, and mainly uh, uh, when it concerns uh, critical systems, uh, these components must be uh, certified. So we need to prove that the components are safe, robust, secure, trustworthy. There is a strict regulation concerning that. And uh, the special point is that for critical systems, uh, it's not sufficient just to present good results uh, or presenting uh, verification uh, results. We need to show inside uh, the code uh, we need to uh, ensure uh, that the code is correctly developed we, using the, the good practice. And uh, machine learning is data-driven. It's uh, complicated to explain uh, the code inside the neural networks, as you know, is, is a kind of black box. So the challenge is to uh, open a little bit this black, blo this black box. Uh, <clears throat> For certifying this kind of uh, of technologies, uh, uh, certifying software in aeronautical domain, uh, there are uh, different levels or so different development assurance levels, depending on the criticality of the system or the the component. It means more uh, a, a failure uh, on on the component can cause a catastrophic or or or, or major. Uh, failure effect, uh, more uh, we will uh, require uh, proofs of the safety and assurance of the component. Uh, indeed, uh, uh, more than uh, being compliant with the regulations and standards, we need to demonstrate, uh, we need to uh, um, prepare an argumentation to demonstrate that the developed component is compliant uh, with the regulation, with the standards. Um, so there is an assurance of the design process, the, 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 the development activities, not only on the resulting component, but in all the, the steps on the development uh, process. And we need to show the, cor the correlation and the, the transition between the model, the code, the binary, 
uh, until uh, the deployment in the target uh, hardware. Uh, in this way, in the last years, uh, there is a, 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 an increasing effort in one side from academics, industrials, and state agencies uh, to develop methods and tools for trustworthy machine learning, trustworthy uh, AI. And in the other side, uh, there is an effort to adapt uh, the certification standards to take into account uh, this new uh, kind of development that is data-driven uh, concerning machine learning. So it's an ongoing process. The standards are being uh, created uh, or developed right now, and the tools and the methods uh, the community is working on, developing uh, new methods and tools for, for a trustworthy machine learning. So uh, another problem, in, this is the why I, uh, we are talking about sovereign uh, platform, is that nowadays uh, the, the practice is used, uh, for example, PyTorch, TensorFlow, uh, even they are open source, they are American platforms, very adapted to American uh, hardware components. So there is a, a, a cycle when more we use these American platforms, more uh, we use the American uh, components. So there, uh, this initiative in, uh, from, from Europe and from France is to develop uh, tools adapted to uh, French uh, components to develop the French industry. <clears throat> so the edge platform is the will be the result of the this project. Uh, it's in development, under development. Uh, the idea is to uh, take the problem from the beginning, able to treat uh, the data, to uh, learn a, a neural network, learning the parameters. We can also uh, open or import a, a neural network learned from PyTorch, for example, using ONNX, so um, uh, in, uh, uh, exchange in format for neural networks. And uh, inside the platform, the idea is to implement, for example, uh, uh, algorithms for optimization uh, in order to make uh, uh, the neural network adapted to embedded systems, respecting the hardware constraints. And well, the proposition is that all this chain of activities must be open, must be formally defined, must be uh, tr traceable, must be deterministic, must be re reproductive, uh, must uh, present the re reproductibility, and all these properties to make possible to certify um, the developed uh, neural network. So we need to present data guarantees in the, this, there is a process flow for machine learning development from data management, design of the model of the machine learning model, uh, learning the parameters, verification, then the model implementation, uh, optimization and implementation until the deployment in the uh, target hardware. And all these uh, activities uh, must, be, must present the properties to be able to, to allow certification. So uh, one of the propositions is, uh, for example, comparing uh, classical or nowadays uh, uh, machine learning for, for embedded components. The practice is to use um, a platform to learn the model and to optimize the model uh, independent of the hardware. And then using uh, other libraries like TensorRT or ONNX Runtime or other uh, they are uh, runtime machine learning interpreter, and it's uh, they uh, uh, that uh, uh, that uh, uh, bricks uh, logic bricks will 
define how to deploy the, the neural network in the target hardware. And we can imagine that the tar target hardware can have uh, several C CPUs or GPUs. Uh, this procedure is not, uh, don't fit, does not fit well to certification because there is an uncertainty in how this runtime interpreter will deploy uh, the components, how it will uh, divide the, the neural network and deploy the tiling problem. So uh, another uh, workflow that is more adapted to certification is that the construction of uh, items, separated items, for example, separating the different layers uh, where each layer of a neural network will be implemented, will be deployed in the target hardware. Uh, it must be made uh, beforehand. It means uh, we need to know what uh, layer will be uh, executed in what uh, uh, part of the target hardware. And it must be done beforehand and it must be uh, deterministic. So I know that each layer, uh, for each layer where uh, the layer will be executed in the target hardware. So this is the proposition of Edge. So uh, presenting a physical architecture description and uh, allow to uh, make this process beforehand. Uh, another property is to guarantee the traceability. So from the model to the generated code, uh, we need to identify exactly where are each, uh, each uh, layer, for example, and identify and, and to be to facilitate to them, uh, the demonstration that the code corresponds to the model. Um, in a first uh, result of the project, we propose uh, to the partners um, to use a kind of edge project. So to introduce uh, all these elements are formal elements on the, the platform project. Um, then, for example, uh, to propose a, a formal description of the operational domain, a formal method to describe the data, a formal method to describe the physical architecture, then uh, uh, we can uh, learn uh, the parameters of the neural network from data, or we can import uh, a already learned neural network from a no NNX file, for example, and uh, the Edge platform will be able to generate the code. And um, the, all this must be integrated in a project to allow, to allow uh, the extraction of um, um, artifacts uh, to prepare the argumentation documents. So uh, just to finish, we, we are... Uh, intending to test the platform in two use cases. The ACAS XU, that is the next generation of airborne collision avoidance systems. And I will not explain that in details because it's the subject of the next presentation. So I will let, uh, let you discover the, the, the use case with Martin in the next presentation. And the second use case is the visual based landing. So for the first one, we are talking about a simple, fully connected uh, neural network. And for the visual based landing is a convolutional, conv convolutional neural network uh, to be able to identify uh, the runaway uh, uh, using a camera for, for landing. And um, so uh, it's that. Uh, thank you for your attention. If you have some questions. <laughs>